Hi everyone, this is Brendan here. So we're going to kick off our first episode of our Sherbert Challenge series. So I didn't receive uh, much comments from you guys saying what kind of troops I should try out. But I did receive some people saying that I should use all wall breakers or whatsoever and uh, all dark elixir troop or whatsoever, all healers raid. Um, if you guys uh, actually look through my introduction video, I did state that I was trying to use 30 housing space of each troop or whatsoever troop that you guys recommend to me. So that's basically out of um, the options. So we'll look at one example to see which actually meets the requirements. So the first one is sent by Anna Bang where he challenged me to try 1 golem, 6 giants, 6 hawks, 7 wizards, 30 archers, 15 minions, 10 wall breakers, 5 valkyries and 16 barbarians. So when I first saw this army combo I was thinking to myself, hmm this is quite an easy army combo to use because I was allowed to use 4 rich spells and 1 hero which I decided to use my archer queen. So now as you can see, I was allowed to use minions also. Then I deployed some minions around the corners to take out some of the structures first. So I know some of you guys will be thinking to yourself, hmm, this is quite an easy uh, challenge set by Brandon. But if you guys were to see the next four raids, it actually got a little tougher. As also, I used my gems a lot to speed things up because I, did, I didn't want to wait too long for my troops. So later you will see my gems deplete quite a bit. So um, this is not exactly easy because um, I did say in my introduction video that if I were to use 12 slots and above troops I will have to minus one spell of my usage so if you guys were to ask me to use say two healers I have to minus one spell or if you guys were to ask me to use two witches then I have to minus one spell too because two witches will equivalent to 24 slots and uh, if you guys were to ask me to use say one golem then I have to minus one spell and minus one hero usage so technically speaking, if you guys were to ask me to use like one lava horn and one golem, I can't use two heroes and I will have to minus two spells of my usage already. Uh, because they are really powerful troops, so using them uh, definitely helps a lot. So this is the first three star. The next army combo was suggested by Yu-Gi-Oh! Randoms. So it gave me 30 buffs, 20 arch, 2 healer, 1 lava hound, 6 hawks, 30 goblins, 12 minions, 1 pekka, and 2 valkyries. So he asked me to please use this. So he didn't state how many spells or whatsoever I have to use, even in fact my CC troop he didn't state also. So we're just going to use whatever CC troop that I have in mind. Before this raid, I decided to use a golem in my CC. So as you can see, I've been allowed to use a spell because of the troop combo that I've been given. So I, actually I've been able to use two spells, but since this case I use a golem, I decided to minus off one spell automatically by myself. So I only use one jump spell instead of two spells. So deploying from the top left again as previously like my before one. This is relatively the same as the previous one. Now just deploying some goblins to um, do some more damage to the resources. And then after that just uh, deploying my healers to heal the troops from behind. Uh, jump spell working really well. No heroes for this uh, particular attack itself. Because I was uh, using a lava hound and a golem and in fact a pekka too. So I, I couldn't use a single of my heroes. But nevertheless. Uh, just using one spell and no rage spell whatsoever just the healer healing the other melee troops at the back the troops just continue going forward especially the hawks jumping over the wall just destroying the base and of course uh, this seems quite easy but if you guys were to look at my gems i spent quite a bit so i was trying to complete all the raids as quick as possible because today i was quite busy i didn't have time to wait for the troops especially when i had uh, walked the whole entire day after that now i just came back i had to do my clouding to push my trophies so the next challenge was suggested by Kels, saying uh, 1 golem, 4 healers. So when I read 4 healers, I got stunned a bit because uh, maximum you could only use 2 healers which were total up to 28 slots. So the 20, remaining 28 slots, I moved them to 9 more minions, 5 more barbarians and 5 more goblins. Hope you're okay with that Kels. So as for spells, usage wise, I can use 3 spells. And then for hero, I could use one hero because there's only one golem with me. And also I'd like to thank you Kels for wishing me good luck. As for in the CC, you have suggested to me to use 7 balloons. But uh, for that, I can't use because it's 35 slots of balloons. So I decided to change it a bit. But eventually, I didn't use the CC at all. So I could use 30 slots of balloons and then maybe the remaining 5 slots to be like archers or barbarians or whatsoever troops. Just as long as the maximum amount of a particular troop is 30. Just to take note if you want to suggest to me for the next um, challenge again. So as you can see, uh, using 2 of my spell, jump spell and a rage spell, everything all just going in and just uh, rampaging through the base. Especially my queen. Uh, being able to use the queen for attacks is really awesome. You can really see the difference uh, when you use the 
heroes and not using the heroes so most of the time definitely if you guys were to allow me to use the hero i'll be using the queen of course if you guys want me to still use the hero and want me to use the barbarian king just mention in the comments as you guys uh, challenge me that will also be taken into consideration as a uh, alternating between heroes also will do fine with me so yeah this is the third three star so now let's take a look at the fourth challenge given to me by marcus he said let's make this challenging then he gave a list of troops to use so in this list he has said one lava hound one golem one pekka two healer one rock valkyrie seven wizards 30 barbarians 29 archers 30 goblins and one minion and 35 goblins in my cc but i won't be able to use that because i already be using 30 goblins in my army camp so i changed my cc a bit later you'll see what i'll be using and also no heroes and no lightning spell because I'll be using one Lava Hound, one Golem, one Pekka, two healer and in my CC will be something different as the lightning spell actually I couldn't use it also because my CC was something rather strong and uh, later you will see what it is and then um, the lightning spell I just dropped it for fun in fact I didn't have to drop it but as you can see now my gems is at like 4500 previously it was there around uh, 6000 something so to be honest I took like 10 tries 10 like, or maybe 12 or 15 over tries to settle this base i attack like from different angles using this army combo i attack quite a number of times this is the to me the hardest uh, army combo so far that i have used among the five uh, the previous one the third raid i did it in roughly uh, the, on the third try so for this one taking like roughly 12 to 15 tries i was like going crazy really and it was a rather close um, uh, fail so just uh, continuing the attack and then my back has gone down from the Teslas in the middle uh, some of you guys might be thinking hmm, uh, yeah this travel towers is rather easier because there's no other um, defenses other than the ones appearing but you must take into consideration there are giant bombs there are also uh, air bombs there are also Teslas that will do huge damage to your troops so now as you can see uh, the giants are just going along just attacking uh, the base itself and then now as you can see there's uh, some wizards at the back the golem just taking the damage decided to drop one minion on the left side to take out the elixir storage and after that the wizards from the back now clearing out the town hall um, the goblin tower itself which has rather low uh, hp so this is something that um, i'm planning planning to do for long term maybe reaching up to uh, the 10 series or whatever however um if you guys really want supercell to take a look at this video and also to have new single player maps for us uh, hopefully this series can boom and make uh, it really big and then after supercell perhaps can watch it and then after i think that you know shepherd towers is like relatively easy without heroes uh, without spells i mean can be settled with just troops so perhaps they could come up with something uh, better so now as you can see uh, the minion is uh, taking out the storage once it has gone down uh, at air defense will actually take it out so now as you can see the minion has gone down and then after that now just left the wizard and the golem with a healer that i've actually saved all the way to the end healer now healing the golem and then the wizard just uh, destroying some of the other buildings uh, wizard is going to be taken out soon taking out the mortar over there mortar just uh, doing practically no damage to the golem because the golem is being healed so now the wizard has gone down so we just speed things up a bit because it's going to be very slow the golem is just going to bang the wall another thing to note is that single player maps do not have a three minute timer so i could take as long as i want to um, attack the base so i uh, you know you guys will be thinking hmm, yeah actually by right i lost the uh, attack rate but you must think into consideration that what kind of troops i'm using as especially uh, this is a challenge and i this is a single player map so of course there's no rule to how much how long i can take so the go golems they have split up just uh, attacking and destroying the base speed things up so yeah uh, three star so the last challenge given to me was by this person with a very long ign so as you can see he's given me one pekka two healers one dragon one golem 30 archers 15 minions one lava hound seven wizards nine barbarians and actually the total is 230 troops only it doesn't total up to 240 because of the miscalculation between the dragon and the golem 73 to 113 and i won't be able to use any spells too because i'm having two healers one dragon one becca one golem and one lava hound and also the heroes won't be available because i'm using two of the more than 30 slot troops so as you can see, he has also asked me to use my CC to reach two wizards, one warbreaker, and two barbarian. Actually, that total to thirty six troops, uh, housing space. So that's technically wrong also. 
So yeah, it's okay. I've uh, changed my CC troop a bit, but nevertheless, I'll just continue to attack. So do stay in the comment what you guys think about this uh, particular series itself. Whether uh, this is a fun series, you guys can join in, have some uh, little fun, especially uh, just teasing me a bit using like uh, a lot of uh, goblins or whatsoever, even start a lot of wall breakers. Uh, that'll be pretty fun. And also, um, I'll be increasing the difficulty. Uh, how I will be increasing the difficulty is that after uh, one C uh, episode, uh, the next episode I will have to minus five housing space. So currently for this first episode, I am having a two hundred and forty housing space, right? So the next one I'll be able to use only two hundred and thirty five housing space. I'll put all the details on the description uh, in the video below so you guys can go ahead and take a look and do a little bit of calculation as to what troops I'm able to use for the uh, next episode and also um, just to prep you guys uh, the maybe up to like the episode 5 or 6 uh, when my housing space re reached to like uh, 210 I think it's going to be a hellish um, rates because um, it's just going to be really difficult uh, just say one less golem it's going to be really difficult because there's one less tank troop to use. So uh, now it's still relatively easy once there's no heroes and there's uh, no golem to use this and that. Um, it's going to be uh, slightly tough. So we will see how this is going to go. As uh, now we're going to take a look at the list of troops and their housing space. So as you can see, I've stated over there on the right of their uh, housing space, which is the maximum number I can actually have. So as mentioned uh, previously, I only can have two maximum healers. Um, definitely not having four healers. So the next episode's housing space will be 235 instead of 240. So minus five from that. And also, um, I did mention that um, witch and healer, if I were to use two of them, I will have to minus one spell. And uh, if I were to use one dragon, one Pekka, one golem or one lava hound, I have to minus one spell and also the hero. So yeah. I'll await uh, more of the challenges from you guys to see whether I can uh, uh, fail from the attacks itself. Although I've been failing quite a bit, but maybe fail until the extent whereby I give up and not continue anymore. So we will see how low the housing space can go to. So I'll await you guys for the comments. So with this, I'd like to thank you guys for watching my video and clash on.